pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may now be seated.
Tom Hain wrote these words. These are the times to try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will in this crisis shrink from service of their country. But ye that stand by it now deserves the love and thanks of every man and woman. Today we are gathered to do just that, to offer our love and thanks to an unbroken line of men and women who did not shrink from service to their country. Please welcome our principal, Mr. Pickens. Good afternoon. I would like to first start by welcoming our community members and veterans, and I think it would only be appropriate on this day if we have any veterans that are with us today. If you would please stand. sometimes you take for granted. With Veterans Day, uh, my challenge to you students is let's make every day Veterans Day. How do you do that? What's that look like? Pretty simple. If you see somebody wearing a hat, somebody in uniform, just go up and a simple thank you. And, and I think for all veterans that are here, they would agree with me, that's all that they want is a simple thank you. Thank you. I think that that is just a sign of, of gratitude for the freedoms that you have been given as students, as principals, as teachers. Okay, we're all in this together. And we are very, very lucky and we're very, very blessed uh, to live in the best country in the world. So thank you very much for everybody who came out today. And at this time, I would like to turn it over to Mr. Coons and the orchestra. Thank you.
neutral because it is also a special day in many European nations. Formerly called Armistice Day, it originally marked the truce between or armistice that ended World War I on November 11, 1918. Nations around the world hoped that World War I would be the world would be the war to end all wars. But only a few years later, after the holiday was pro proclaimed in 1926 in the US, World War II broke out in Europe. This was followed by American involvement in Korea in the early 1950s. Realizing that peace was equally preserved by veterans of World War II and Korea, Congress in 1954 passed a bill which President Eisenhower signed into law proclaiming November 11th as Veterans Day. Today we honor those who served in America in all wars. We are honored to perform this next selection that has all five of the main songs of our military branches. I would like to invite our visitors to stand when their branch song is performed. I would also like to invite anybody in the students or staff, if you have a family member who serves in that particular branch, to stand quietly and let us recognize you for the service that your family member has provided to our country. The first song is the Army. I'll announce each one as we go.
Householder. Mr. Householder served in the United States Navy from 1991 to 2012. He was part of Operation Southern Watch in 1994, Operation Enduring Freedom from 2005 to 2009, and Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2010. Mr. Householder is here to speak about a veteran's view of Veterans Day. Please welcome Mr. Day. Correct, he was a Navy SEAL sniper. He was one of the best. 
He was actually known as the devil of Ramadi by the enemy. But Chris gave it all, not only on the battlefield, but when he came home. He came home, he knew that there was men and women who had seen and, and just horrible things in their time of war. And he wanted to continue to give to, to try to help them out. He did this through what he knew best. He would take veterans suffering from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and he would take them to the gun range and he would try to mentor them. One day, while at the Texas gun range, the man he was working with shot Chris and his partner, fatally wounded both of them. But ladies and gentlemen, that's love and honor. That is love and honor. Not only did he love our country enough to go serve on the battlefield, but he loved it enough to come home and continue to serve here. Give me a second here, my, my phone just closed on me. <laughs> that is why I feel it very important when that national anthem plays and I went on, I want to say thank you because I saw everybody stand. Please stand for the national anthem. These football players that have kneeled, I can't say what my opinion is. When that national anthem plays, cross your heart. Stand tall. Because men and women have come home in coffins for many, many, many years to protect our country so that you guys can have the freedom and the democracy to live life as you, as you see fit. So that you can serve whatever God you want to serve. You can live your life however you want to live. Okay? These guys, that's, that's what being a veteran means. Young people, I challenge you as you, uh, as you sit here in school today and I know everybody's looking forward to the day. I can't wait till I graduate high school. Well, the question is, what are you going to do after? Okay? Some may say I'm going to college. That's great. Some may decide to join them, join the military. Less than 1% of our nation decides to join, to join the military these days. I'm here to tell you that I miss it. I loved it. I got to do many, many things and see many different places. I've done everything from working directly with the pilots as a parachute rigger to being a military police officer to flying in the F-18s. And I'm here to tell you, you guys can do anything you guys want to do. If you want to be a nurse, there's opportunities to be a nurse. If you want to be a, a police officer, there's opportunities to be a police officer. If you want to be a pilot, there's opportunities to be a pilot. You can do anything and everything that you dream in the military, and the best part about it is, they will help you. College isn't cheap these days. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna close my speech. And I just wanna say thank you again to all my brothers and sisters who have served. And thank you to the students and the staff of Liberty for inviting me here today, and it's been, it's been my pleasure and my honor. <laughs> Navy Chief, Navy Pride.
I'm just trying to be a father, raise a daughter and a son, be a lover to their mother, everything to everyone. Up and at them bright and early, I'm all business in my suit. Yeah, I'm dressed up for success, from my head down to my boots. I don't do it for the money, there's bills that I can't pay. I don't do it for the glory, I just do it anyway. Providing for our futures, my responsibility. Yeah, I'm real good on the pressure, being all that I can be. I can't call in sick on Mondays when the weekend's been too strong. I just work straight through the holidays, sometimes all night long. You can bet that I stand ready when the wolf growls at the door. Hey, I'm solid. Hey, I'm steady. Hey, I'm true down to the core. And I will always do my duty, no matter what the price. I've counted up the cost I know the sacrifice Oh, and I don't want to die for you But if dying's asking me I bear that cross with honor Cause freedom don't come free I'm an American soldier An American Beside my brothers and my sisters I will proudly take a stand When I will always do what's right I'm out here on the front lines Sleep in peace tonight American soldier Son, it's almost June I hope this letter catches up with you And finds you well It's been dry, but they're calling for rain And everything's the same old same Johnsonville Your stubborn old daddy ain't said too much but I'm sure you know he sends his love And she goes on In a letter from home I hold it up and show my buddies Like we ain't scared and our boots ain't muddy And they all laugh like there's something funny About the way I talk When 
I say mama sends her best y'all I fold it up and put it in my shirt Pick up my gun and get back to work And it keeps me driving on Waiting on Letters from home My dearest love, it's almost dawn I've been lying here all night long Wondering where you might be I saw your mama and I showed her the ring Man on a television said something So I couldn't sleep But I'll be alright, I'm just missing you This is me kissing you, X's and O, in a letter from home. I hold it up and show my buddies like we ain't scared of night, but the same buddy and they all laugh. Cause she calls me honey, but they take it hard, cause I don't read the good part. Fold it up and put it in my shirt Pick up my gun and get back to work And it keeps me driving on Waiting on Letters from home Dear son, I know I ain't written Sitting here tonight alone in the kitchen, it occurs to me I might not have said it, so I'll say it now Son, you make me proud I hold it up and show my buddies like We ain't scared and our boots ain't muddy but no one laughs Cause there ain't nothing funny when a soldier cries And I just wipe my eyes I fold it up and put it in my shirt Pick up my gun and get back to work And it keeps me driving on Waiting on Letters from home my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars to be living here today cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away and I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free and I won't forget The men who died, who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA From the lakes of Minnesota To the hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas From sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston And New York to L.A. 
Where there's pride in every American heart And it's time we stand and say That I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you Defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA But I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Taps used a military funeral to 